Stacey and Jay Spoo, East Coast Radio. Recipient of the Vanguard Award at the VMAs last night, Katy Perry. Nice. Roar, East Coast Radio, KZN's number one hit music station. <laughs> if you missed any of our fantastical VMA updates, because who has the time to watch these things when you're so busy being fabulous? We got you. Yeah, ecr.co.za, go and catch up on the podcast. But I believe that now we are, we're moving into uh, oh. something romantic. So listen, 110 days left of 2024. Um, we're diving well into the second half of 2024. And the best way to go about spending these days is with a significant other. Mm-hmm. Hey? Mm-hmm. You feel that, Stacey? No, I do, I do, uh, yes. P- like pigeons, you know, pigeons, pigeons actually mate for life. Penguins. So, penguins, penguins, penguins. <laughs> <laughs> Although, do, do pigeons mate for life? Uh, it could be. Let's but just Google there, let's find listen, out. I, so, I, I, do, I don't know. Uh, no, they don't. Because no, no, by, by the no. look of them, no. <laughs> no, no, no. So, I meant penguins, right? Penguins uh, actually will go their whole life looking for that one penguin to fall in love with and to spend the rest of their life with. Yeah, it's cute, eh? Um, and Stacey, I've noticed that you, of late, have been very happy. And girl, I know it. When I see it, I can call it. You've got that glow. Eh? What happened? Last time I checked, Umugel was single. What happened? Please give us an update because you can't be looking like this and I don't know why. So, I mean, to, to be fair, I am t- like very warm in my face yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Look, she's literally gone pink. I'm fine. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah. I uh-huh. met someone. Yes. And he is, he's wonderful. Hmm? He's wonderful. Nick, who handles sports, did you hear that? Sorry. I have uh, have met someone and he is wonderful. Stacey has met someone and he is wonderful. He's wonderful. wonderful. Yeah. Oh. And you're not getting names and, and, and ID numbers and oh, background checks addresses. yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> IRP5. ID number, you're please. Not, you're not getting that yet? We'll, we'll see how, yeah, later. Later. Cute. Man, Thank I love this up. for you. You look very happy. You look Thank like you. you're glowing for days. Oh, God. Listen, shame she deserves, eh? She deserves. Yeah. First impression was good, though, eh? Uh, actually, first impression was outstanding. It was a Fleetwood Mac reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. Witty repartee. And then a five and a half hour long video call. So, you know. Oh, it worked out for Stacey. It might have worked out for you as well. So today, we want to know from you, you know, what were the first impressions when you met your other half? Because bearing in mind that you might have met this person initially and been like, nah. <laughs> or they like, hmm. Or maybe they're like, Ugh, we don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously all worked out now nicely in the end. But what were the first, first impressions? First one, be honest, yes. Yeah. First ones. Let us know. 061-792-9495. Music on the way. Sean Mendes and some Tamiya. Stacey and Chase Boo. Sean uh, Mendes, Camila Cabello, Senorita, East Coast Radio, KZN's number one hit music station. Are they? Are they not? We don't know. But hey, Up and down. We are invested <laughs> in the love stories of celebrities, penguins, and as it turns out, each other. So yeah. on the show today, we want to know from you, what were your very first impressions the first time you met the person who would go on to become your partner, whether they were... Warm and fuzzy, or like never, Nancy for this dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> never, yeah, yeah, ever, never yeah, again. Yeah, but then, yeah, yeah. surprise, that surprise. Happens, so, um, Jay Spoo asked me some questions. I filled in the blanks, and now the time has come for us to hear from him. You know her name, Mazintle. Oh, my queen. And um, we now, how, like, how did you meet Zintle? Okay, so I'll tell you, and I'll be quick about this, right? So I, I, I met Zintle uh, when I was in grade eleven. Um, we used to do this thing every Saturday of going to the library to suppose. Supposedly do our homework <laughs> um, And then as I walked through the door of the library uh, Zintra was sitting there with her friends And I'm like damn this girl is so beautiful I want this girl to be Like you know when you see someone you're like Oh if only mm, mm, hey. mm, So mm. quickly I fabricated a story To get her attention <laughs> I lied. I lied. I, I lied. lied. And I, I was like, yo, listen, can you guys uh, guard my bag? Uh, pretend to go to the bathroom. It was daunting, right, to approach her because, like, you know, yo, guys, rejection slaps different when it has a comedy, right? Okay, okay. So now, <laughs> so then, and then, and then? Um, so. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this out loud, but don't judge me. Uh, at the time, I was seeing somebody. I was I was in a relationship with someone else, and we were supposed to meet at the library. <laughs> it's just, okay, so I'm I'm gonna pretend not to judge you. Carry on, carry on. So I returned from the bathroom uh, to go and collect my bags, and I try to make like a good impression. Hi, hi, how's it? Greeted, you know. I came in there with my uh, you know twanged English. Hi, so you know like just good day, mate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like you know, hot gas, like you know. My name is Busi Singh Mali. 
you know, I just I just looked at you and I was just like, you know, like I like you and stuff. And how'd so that go? That was in my head, right? But in reality, uh, I spoke to Zinclair's sister and I was like, yo, listen, can uh, can uh, can uh, can we have a chat? And uh, I expressed how I feel. How I felt about Zintle to the sister. I was like, yo, man, we gotta be friends. Mm. And listen, that day, I broke up with my then girlfriend because I was like, I see my future here. Um, got Zintle's number, texted her. We made plans to hang out over the weekend. And yo, bro, like that week, that week was the longest week of my life because, you know, school and stuff like that. And we generally meet over the weekend. And that's the only time that we can go out, right? And, and we texted for a couple of weeks. And the first confirmation um, was a text that she sent to me. She said to me, um, just like that, mm. I met the love of my life. Mm. And after that, I fell in love with her. God. It was a good impression, right? Except for the twanging. That's bit, but like, cute. Yeah. No, twang, twang, thank you, ma'am. That's yeah. so cute. She tells the story like I was like a bit of a cheese boy. Uh, but, but for me, it was like mm-hmm. I, met, I met the woman of my life. Guys. Right? See, hey. this this is good what time. we're looking for. Hey. This is what we're looking for. I good mean, we'll, we'll circle back to when, when we're all going to collectively hear wedding bells. Okay. <laughs> and, oh, oh, uh, calm. You got to calm And down. who's going to be emceeing that wedding? However, wow. however, however, <laughs> next up, we're going to hear from you, right? You. Your first impressions when you met your now partner. 061-792-9495. Newswatch, sport and traffic on the way. Look how goosebumps is telling Cute you that story. Oh, lerf. Stacey and Jace Boo. It's East Coast Radio KZN's number one hit music station. Hang out Stacey and Jace Boo till 6pm. In this hour, we are dedicating it to your love stories. We have already established that Stacey Norman has a new man in her life. She's not telling us a name. She's not giving us first impression vibes. Stacy, I want DNA samples. I want ID number. I want details. But she's not, she's not giving, guys. It is, it is possible huh? that he is merely a figment of my imagination. Hey, but also you are at that age where you can, you can do that. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to whip him. You twist it sometimes, girl. You twist it sometimes, man. So we wanted to know what your impressions were. First impressions. First impressions upon meeting the person who would ultimately uh, be your all-in on Facebook. Facebook, yeah. Elaine saying, I met him at the bus stop. He was a random stranger I've vented to <laughs> about people taking my stock. He listened patiently and I knew oh. he was the one. Oh. And he had really nice legs. Yeah, Elaine was busy at that bus stop that day. We got married in six months. Yesterday was our 13th anniversary. Oh, congratulations and well done. There's nothing nicer than that moment when you look at someone and you're like, I'm going to marry this person. That is a gift and you should be grateful. So if you've experienced something like that, please just go and hug your partner and be like, you're a gift sent from the angels above. Uh, oh, Tracy uh, on our Facebook says, for me, I knew I was going to marry him before I even spoke to him. Oh. We recently celebrated our 40th anniversary. See, but Tracy hey. did it. She, she manifested a man. Hey, she manifested a, a marriage even material before he man. uttered words. But, but do you see? So KZN, we asked you about your stories. Thank you very much for sharing them with oh, us. Beautiful. We uh, we're gonna get into them right now because cute. Cute, cute, cute. Hi there, it's Janice. My first impression on my partner was actually perfect. You know, we got on like a house on fire. We had so much in common. We both are December babies. Everything is perfect except the fact that he is a Manchester United supporter. Uh-huh. Uh, but we got married anyway, and <laughs> our home is on fire when our teams play. Stacey and Jay, Ryan from Drummond. My first impressions of my partner, tall, dark, and handsome, although I needed some liquid courage just to make sure I was making oh, yeah. the right decision. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my first impression of my partner was he was a gentleman. He always cared and loved me and everyone around him. He was so amazing. And that's what ticked all the boxes for me. It mattered the most, the way he treated me and people around him. We met on Facebook six years down the line with the five-year-old son. And I'll do it again. Do it again. Well done, guys. These see, are beautiful. See, this Yeah. This is why we got out of bed today. Aww. So, of, obviously, the WhatsApp line is open. Same, Shame same, same. 61 While well, you're doing that, if you managed to leave the office because you were like, oh, now I'm in my fields, go. here's Andy James with your traffic. Guys, so when I'm, my name, it's Chinese, yeah? when I met my husband now, we've been together for 15 years, my first impressions were, <laughs> he was actually dating a friend back then. And we were at a club 
and I was like, shoot, he's sexy. And then he started dancing and he could and he danced like Justin Timberlake and I was like, yo, oh my soul. Stacy and Uncle Spoo are where? So honestly, I can't remember what the first impression was when I met my now wife because it was way back in primary school. But I do remember having an insane crush on her in primary school. Hi, Stacy and Chase Boo. This is Soros P. My first impression of my partner was no. Ain't no way in hell dating this man. I don't like his head. I don't like the shape of his head. I like nothing about him. But he was so persistent. A month later, I gave him a chance. We dated. And now I have four beautiful kids, three boys, one girl, and all my sons have his head. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Imagine not dating someone because oh. of the shape of their head. Listen, uh, that was, you see, oh. that's, that's a different time when you believe. <laughs> There's so many fish in the sea. Ooh, it's all in the head, hey? It's all in the head. <laughs> Stacey and Chase Boo. Weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. East Coast Radio.